So about five months ago, I decided to get a big chop by myself. And this was because I had heat damage from a silk press. Now this is what I was looking like immediately after I got my big chop. I mean, I had the cutest teeny weeny afro and this is what I was looking like. But now, guys, we have a fro. Like we have an actual afro in just five months. Point. If you're interested in an update, then you need to keep on watching this video because I'm going to be spilling all the tea in this video so let's keep on watching so hey guys welcome back to the channel so um, in this video I'm pretty sure you can see the straight strands which I'm trying to show you guys I know that this video is like a hair update oh my hair is growing but guys a lot of things are going wrong and I don't know what to do I just don't know what to do to be very honest with you guys my hair is growing from the roots in a straight i don't know how to explain it my hair is straight my hair is it's not fussy again like not everything though like just i don't know like little like one strand in different places is just coming out straight from the roots i really don't know what's going on i feel like i want to do a protein treatment to revive my curls or either get Olaplex and I haven't used any of these things before. Trust me, if you have lost your hair before to something like heat damage, you would be scared about putting any and anything on your hair. And I, I know that these things are things that should be done, you know, with care and to be done professionally. But I really don't want to do this again. I don't want to. I'm really scared, okay, to try something new um so i don't know i might actually just close my eyes and just get the um, afoji protein treatment or i get you know olaplex and try to revive my curls but that is the first complaint i have <laughs> that's the first update actually so this is the fro this is what the fro is looking like okay and i decided to try and get it into a puff so i'm going to be showing you guys how that actually went because i was shocked so let's just go <laughs> okay so that's basically it when it comes to like the growth so far with my hair in i think five months and few days so um yeah i'm about to wash my hair you guys as you just saw i took out my um cornrows i've been on cornrows like back to back um i've been wearing wigs back to back so my hair has been itching a lot and i decided to use this mega growth um anti-dandruff shampoo to um cleanse my scalp cleanse my strands and try to prevent that again from happening so um yeah and i really haven't taken care of my hair in like the past three weeks or yeah in the past three weeks because um i just don't like the fact that i look in the mirror and i see straight strands coming out from my scalp like it pisses me off literally and once i see it i just turn away just because 
I've just neglected my hair for no cause. Like it's just been a lot of work because I'm just like, what what am I doing? My hair is um, having like straight strands. I don't know where it's coming from. So everything was just overwhelming for me that I just stopped caring for my hair. I've also been thinking about the fact that I used um, irregular scissors to cut my hair during the big chop. And I feel like that is why I have straight strands. I'm really not sure if those are like split ends because I have, I have gotten my cutting shears like I, I have cutting shears i've trimmed my hair not once not twice and i'm still having like straight strands at the end so i don't even know if that is you know split ends and i'm just like what am i supposed to do next so um yeah um, i use the um sheer moisture treatment mask i love this mask so much and it has a very thick consistency um a little goes a long way when it comes to I'm applying this on your hair you really don't need so much so I just apply this all over my hair and then I follow it up with a plastic cap and then wrap my hair around in a sweater for added heat just so that the product can penetrate my scalp okay so I'm back from um, working on my hair in the bathroom um, I have done my um, shampoo I've done my deep conditioner and now I just want to prep for the night. This is like almost 10 p.m. I'm tired, but I have to like put something in my hair at least. I want to usually, um, because I want to see if my puff is going to form again next, like tom this tomorrow morning, because um, I want to, I don't have plans on wearing wigs. To be very honest, I'm tired of wearing wigs because I've been going like back to back with um cornrows for like the past one month and um or maybe even two months <laughs> um so i've been going back to back with um what's it called cornrows and i'm tired of that so when i saw that my puff came came out today i was so happy and i really don't know so is this thing too bright is it too bright <laughs> anyways at this point i really don't know so i'm thinking i just want to do like the regular I think my hair should be dry by now. I use a t-shirt to work on that. The product that I have really been using um, for like the past four months, for the past, I think four months or three months, I worked with the brand for three, three months. That's the Ziza Empire, right? Like Ziza, um, Ziza products, really. And those were the products that I used consistently for three months. And we're here. So um, I made sure that I wasn't mixing the products with other products because, and if you guys notice, when I was posting on my, on my Instagram page, please follow my Instagram page. That's where I really showed all the things that I used to get my hair to this length so um yeah when i was there i um when i was still using the products i used it consistently for three months without adding like any other brand just because i wanted to see okay is this brand actually going to do something for me like in terms of growth um but yeah i'm just really so happy that um, my hair can go into a puff right now i was thinking that i'll wait for like seven or eight months but it's literally five months and some days <laughs> but yeah i have my puff and we're good and the funny thing is for the past one month or for the past three weeks i haven't taken care of my hair like i neglected my hair i don't know if i've spoken about it in this video because that was the main purpose of this video i wanted to talk about how i haven't been caring for my hair because it's just so overwhelming the fact that my hair is having straight strands and some is looking like 4c some is looking like 3a like it's just mixed mixed um coil patterns so it's just really it really pissed me off and i was just like see this hair thing i'm tired <laughs> i was literally i was literally tired of my hair sorry i'm looking at the screen here that's what i'm using to work on my hair but um yeah i think i'm done with moisturizing for this night i don't think i'm going to twist my hair should i should i should i should i should I? at some point you guys 
at some point my hair started cutting i don't know if i told you guys my hair cut so much you know the um video that i did where i did um i think 15 styles on how to style your knotless braids so i had that and i had that in for like three weeks to one month if not even more and it was so long if you watch that video you will see the length it was so like it was way past my bum <laughs> and when i was taking it out i washed my hair that day and i was i was gone because it was just like what is going on like i'm going to put a picture here just so that you guys can see and what really happened with my hair because i was just so shocked that <sighs> should i put this in this is called a protective style because not less braids is protective styling so i was like what is going on so i reached out to the brand that i was working with ziza and i was just like oh my i really don't know what is going on with my hair i don't like what i'm seeing my hair is cutting and it turned i had to now sit down and analyze this thing she told me to just watch for like the next two weeks so i just calmed down and said okay let me watch for like the next two weeks and i started to analyze things that hair number one was too heavy right it was way below my bum and my hair was still short so the tension was too much and then um what else what else happened with that hair i styled it 15 over 15 times because i got some styles wrong but i got 15 right i'm pretty sure i styled my hair more than 15 times in that video and while i was doing that i was manipulating my hair right so i was just like oh my, you really did yourself i was put a picture you guys look at this picture really well i was just like you did yourself you were the one that did yourself this time because tell me why i did that like look at the look at the breakage like this is what came out after i think shampoo was it shampoo or deep conditioner? i can't remember again but i think this was after deep conditioning and this was just after deep conditioning or one of my steps sha this is what came out of my hair hey i wanted to cry you guys but i was just like okay let me just watch since i just took down my braids but that thing really caught my hair and after that that two weeks i washed my hair the next um two weeks and there was no breakage like that so i'm just saying um my hair natural hair is very complicated to an extent when you understand your hair it gets easier to manage it and me i'm still learning so don't know where you come for me i just know what my hair needs right now nothing too long nothing too heavy because it's going to add so much strain on my hair and um so yeah i'm really just preparing for the night to be very honest and i just hope that you guys enjoyed this video i don't know it's a very casual video chit chats make my hair with me chit chat <laughs> um wash my hair with me i don't know i'm just braiding my hair to sleep now um just so that i don't wake up tomorrow and i can't comb it but yeah i really hope that you guys learned one or two things from this video take care of your hair not all protective styles are protective styles like how do i explain this thing um not less braids is a protect is a type of protective styling but the fact that it protects one person's hair does not mean it's going to protect your own hair so it depends on how you manage it it depends on you understanding what your hair needs and how to care for your hair even when you are you know when you have your protective style in and also when you are taking down your protective style i know that i took it down the right way but where my own problem came from was it was just too heavy and i manipulated it way too many times too many times so yeah it all boils down to knowing your hair even though you're doing a protective style um you need to understand your hair as well some people when they do um cornrows their hair cuts a lot some people their own protective styling is twist some people um they can do cornrows and they won't shed any hair they won't their hair won't break so it's just about you understanding what your hair wants so right right now me i know that if i'm doing not less braids again i'm not doing bomb length <laughs> maybe like bra length and it's not going to be that tiny because that hair was too tiny oh my goodness it was too tiny 
so i know what's next to do if that makes sense but yeah i'm just going to finish this up i guess the video is done i'm sorry that i'm going to end this video like this but it was just a very chill video that i didn't even script <laughs> i just wanted to talk while doing my hair and i achieved that so i will see you guys in my next one please subscribe if you are new to the channel watch my other videos my silk press video that got me to where i am today um in terms of like the length of my hair if you're wondering how i have short hair and yeah like this video comment down below share if you enjoyed it and i'll see you guys in my next one bye